go and retain. Biafra is already a free nation. I want to warn all the pastors in Biafra land. All the pastors in Biafra land, this message is for you. You know, just like our leader said that before we do something we will tell you so that you will try your best to stop and you will not be able to stop it that will make you frustrated more and more because you will be you are being told but you cannot stop it i want to make it clear to you all the pastors in biafra land from now onward any pastor preaches against biafra will be there with in biafra land your church your church or your churches will be demolished and any day we lay hands on you bro you will know that that work where the devil send you we know how to also do it please quote me right this one no be Simon Ekba send me no be Mazinam they cannot send me and the legion the leader of the legion I mean and I ain't talk this one nobody send me this one but I'm telling you what I will do and any day you preach against Biafra any pastor any church that preach against Biafra, that church will be demolished down. Any branches, anywhere where branches there, we will burn them down. And any day where we catch pastor, that pastor, in body, go tell him. If you love your pastor, tell your pastor that days have gone by where you will preach against Biafra in your church and that church will remain in Biafra land. Tell your pastor that any day he open his mouth and speak that division is not good. That God loves unity. And he preached that Nigeria is the best place where Biafra will have unity with. That pastor will have problem with us. This message, don't joke with him. And any day we put it at home and you open your church, that church will go burn them down. We are no longer joking. It's time you begin to organize prayer and fasting. In your different branches of churches to start praying for the great nation biafra to start praying for the releasing of margin and the to start praying for the successful trip where simon Iqba will be going to negotiate for biafra exit those are the things you need to do if you call yourself legit men those are the prayer point for you it is the time to organize fasting and prayer praying for men that are on the ground protecting your land those are the things you need to be praying on in your church but the day you open your mouth and condemn them the canoe condemn esm condemn biafra your you are condemned and you from that moment from that moment your church are marked for this morning and so shall it be you are not joking uh, thank you my brother i think that is exactly what we are going to do Somebody say, we should send them later. Sorry, I was interrupted by the network. I'm back. We go nowhere. Whether they like it or they don't like it, they must carry our news. They must share our news. That is the truth. As I was saying that somebody said we should send them later, but I believe that net network, a very bad country, a very bad network, I continue my brother there is no need to send them later we cannot waste our time sending them later or waste our transport sending them later the very best thing is for you to circulate this message tell those who know those that know those that equally know those that has pastor and churches to inform their pastors that there is a message from the main on ground that any day their pastor Preaches against Biafra, preaches against Samonikba, preaches against Namde Kano, that that very day he have used in hand, marked in church to be demolished, and that church will be brought down or will bring will be bring down. Oh, you go. Share this message, please. It's very very important, and it's not only that. If God help us catch that pastor alive, he go ask. For he will beg for death, he will not see. And the same things that happened to Christ, we will, we will hang him on the cross. But the only difference is that he will turn his head upside down. If you think we are joking, there else. 
If you really think we are joking, there was. And again, you have been preaching in my empty. If you think we are joking, as I said before, the network cut me off. There was. And see how it's going to be for you. And again, you have been preaching in your church for people not to observe the holy day of Namde Kano, which is Monday. Please, we are opening our ear now to hear you saying that that holy day should not be observed. Or you are also doing a church program on that very day. Any church or churches that caught doing any program on Monday, on Monday, on Monday, that church will be brought down and the pastor will be, will, will be declared wanted. Let me tell you the truth. Too. We have set out our satellite to help us observe the churches that have been opening on Monday or doing program on Monday. You think it's only market that need to be closed down? Do you think so? Do you really think that it is only market that need to observe Namdekanu only day? Let us catch you again doing church program on Monday. Then you will understand that that, that man, that great man, is not for me alone. That great man was not only fighting for me alone, and he's still fighting. Please, to be before one is to be before harm. Don't say we did not warn you. Stay at home. Tomorrow is another great holy day for Namdi Kano. You must observe it. If you can celebrate Easter, you do not know where it comes from. Easter, you don't know where it comes from. You celebrate volunteer, you don't know where it comes from. You have no excuse why you should not celebrate Namde Kano. But dare us and see what will happen. Please share this message. Let it go viral. Let this message reach every. Let this message reach everybody. So that nobody will have an excuse. To give. Having said that, there is a great day coming, a very great day coming, a day we can never forget, never, a mighty day coming, and that day is 30th of May. Those who know, know. 30th of May, our heroes and hero and heroes day. That day, you want to make it a beautiful and great day. That day, next month, that very day, the thirtieth of May on the corner, we are going to celebrate it in our home. As the Prime Minister of Biafra have already spoken, so shall it be. Keep it in mind, mark it in your calendar, save it in your alarm, save it in your phone. That on the 6th of 28, 6 p.m., there will be coffee in the whole of Biafra land. And then, marking it on 29 May to 30th of May. And no go area. Please, allow me to break that English down. For those of us who doesn't know what it means. Waiting with the top, you say. On 6 p.m. in the evening, for that uh, 28 28th evening, 28th of May, in the evening time, every road go down block. Everywhere don't lock down. If we catch you outside by then, go, you go collect and go to water. You go come reach 29th of May, morning. You know they go anywhere, see evening time. You come reach 30th, you don't know, go, you know, go, go anywhere, see evening time. Then on the next day, you're very free to go out. And enjoy yourself. Keep this. I will still remind you when time, when days draw near, that you need to observe them. Please take note of this important announcement, so that you not have yourself to be blamed. We are not joking with the restorations of Biafra. Nigeria government know if you ask them how far, how market, they go tell you say nah, not be waiting with thing with the seal. We think say. Hey, we go crush these people within surface of uh, uh, one, one week. 
for the waiting we they see in the past house. Ask them, they go tell you. Ask them. You just tell me how they lie. Ask them, they go tell you. You know the joke. Oh? This is our land. The land of our ancestors. The land God gave our ancestors that had over to our fathers, that had over to us, that we must hand over to our children and our children to our children's children. Nobody can take it from us. Biafra was, it was there before Nigeria. And Biafra must still remain after Nigeria. We are not joking. If you don't know this, know this. What is bigger than Nigeria is already in Nigeria. So those of you who say we don't need war, that peace is the best. How many, how many uh, newspaper have you make way to see to it that there is peace or referendum? If you need peace, if you need peace, begin to wake up, protest for referendum. I think that is the best way for peace now. Uh, call for referendum, beg for referendum, go make way, go to a media house, say, we know one war in Nigeria again, Nigeria government, we conduct referendum to Biafra people. Uh, let them decide that's the way to make peace. Not if me and somebody is fighting and you just came and hold my hand, two hands, and you are leaving the person to be bossing me and you say you want to separate the fight or you want peace. I lie. You should not hold my hand. If you do that, I will see you as my enemy. And if I have a chance, I will leave the person first, kill you first, so that I will not face my real enemy. You that is holding my two hands for the other person to be bossing me, now you be my real enemy. So if you say you need peace, now, do it in your own little way. Begin to make noise for peace. And what is the noise? Referendum for Biafra. Give Biafra people referendum. Mali no be by force. To be a Nigerian is not by force. Have you not heard that you can only carry a cow to a river, but you can never force it to drink water? You know, they never tell you that. If you don't know, go ask Fulani now. Go and ask Fulani people. May they help you explain to you well. You can only carry cow to the river. You know, go be forced to drink water. So, this can never stop. There will be no peace without Biafra freedom. There can never be any peace without Biafra freedom. There shall never be any peace without Biafra restoration. You think we are joking? Wait till next month and see what will happen to Nigeria. And for those of you who does not believe in the restoration of Biafra? Well, there is nothing I can tell you than to say the same thing our leader, the great teacher, said. That one day you will sleep in Nigeria and wake up in Biafra. That is if you are favored by gods or by the gods of the land. To my brother, I'm giving you the information, share it. As many as you, you know, you like. Let this message go viral. Tonight is for pastors. Tonight is for those who think that Simon Ekba is not doing it right. Tonight is for those who doesn't want war. I've told you what you have to do. Then for those of you who like criticizing the good thing, saying that Simon Ekba not to do anything, Simon Ekba this, Simon Ekba that, Simon Ekba did the same mouth, the same way you use in targeting uh, Namde Kano, the same mouth you are using. Do you think that the people that God chose to restore Biafra, you can distract them? Or you can stop them, or you can kill them, or you can useless them, or you can blasphemy them. You are joking. You don't know the spirit that possesses us. You don't have a single idea about the spirit that possesses us. You don't know this is the only reason we were born into this war. You don't know that the only reason we are alive, see today, is to restore Biafra. You have no idea. So. The more you try to pull us down, the more we possess more power to withstand you. You are millions of you. The more you try to frustrate us, the more we possess power to destroy millions of you. We go nowhere. So if you think Simon Ekba will not be doing well, then the game is up to you. Start doing your own. Hmm? Start doing your own. I told you as before that the mandate that was given to you have been sold out by the same you and the people you sold the mandate to have lost the mandate and the, the spirit of Biafra picked it up and hand over it to the great man 
Simon Egba. And he's not joking with it. And now you understand that Biafra is a spirit. Biafra is a spirit. He knew those that are sincerely seeking for the restorations of Biafra. Yes. So you, you cannot play game with Biafrans. A true Biafrans, you cannot play game with them because it is not even them that possess themselves. Most of them do not even know the spirit that possesses them. But one thing I can assure you is that immediately they see the person that has the true spirit of their friend, they kill up, they follow the person. Whatever criticize you like, criticize that person, it doesn't concern them. Because they are not of their right senses. It is the spirit that brought them, that know the right person, and they will follow the person, shippingly. You can stop them, and you cannot harm them. So, if you think you are doing good, and... The spirit of Biafra did not draw so many people to you. You are not doing it good. You are already falling apart. But if you see a lot of supporters of from Biafra land and up outside, and if you see beginning to have favor, like open door anywhere you go to talk about Biafra, people that you never ever imagine that they will accept the gospel, beginning to accept the gospel, know that the spirit of Biafra is with you. So do you who think that you know the better way, start doing it. Unless some people are doing it own. And the spirit is in control. Okay? And again, if you come into my platform and talk about and gossip of anybody, I will block you. And I will also track you to know if you are in Biafra land. And if I get you, your name will be sorry. I need Biafra. As you can see now. It is about to enter zero zero hours. May know they sleep. And Nigeria government know that that thing where college sleep from our eye, no be child's play. They can't stop us. Share this news. Tell the world. If they really want to stop the blood flowing, they should conduct referendum. And let Biafra go home in peace. But if they say no, we will destroy Nigeria more than recognition. Sometimes we think, you will think we are joking. We are not joking. We are inside the forest. The rain fall on us. The sun beat us. We never complain. But we are planning. Our eyes is on board. And what is that ball? Nigeria. Our aim is to destroy Nigeria and bring them down to their knees until they beg and say, Biafra, go. Just the same way, Egypt, Pharaoh said to Israelis, go. It's the same way. We will bring Nigeria down to their knees and they will be begging us to go because we will destroy them beyond repair. Mark today's date. Mark today's date. This is zero, zero hours. It is like play, just the same way it was like play to Pharaoh. When Moses said, Pharaoh, don't say the Lord, let my people go. It was like play. It was like play until they lose their first son. It was like play until they lose all their crops. It was like play until they lose all their soldiers. The same thing will happen to Nigeria. Let me tell you this. Jugo came up after you frustrated Ibus. Frustrated Biafra, say better, you let us go. You say no, you keep 30 million of us. Inside that 30 million, my grandfather was there. Inside that 30 million, my grandfather was there. Now we come up, Nam the can will come up. You catch him, you jail him. You are still killing. Among those people you are still killing, see date. My friends are there. And we are still saying, let us be. Let Biafra go. We say, no way. No problem. But remember, the days are coming that will be baking for Biafra to be free. Days is coming. Very soon, it is sure that, it is sure that will be baking 
for us to go back my word we will destroy all your assets we will destroy all your property and we will also kill your father we will kill your mother we will kill your sister we will kill your brother we will kill your children the same way you did to us you make us fatherless you make us motherless you make us brotherless you make us sisterless you make us friendless you make us homeless you make us marketless you you make us everything that has to attach with less and you think that the same measure will not be measured back to you in full we will also make you homeless we will make you trustless we will make you fatherless we will also make you everything that attached to less then you will understand and you will also feel what you make us feel i am in a bush talking to you right now if the rain have fall on your side and you are on the shelter of your room comfort home i am in the bush the rain beat me i see no sleep but the day is coming you also run away from your house and be in the bush and yet you will not be safe the day is coming it will be you that will be crying biafra go biafra go the day is coming that you will look for your property you will not see them you will burn them down the day is coming you will look for your mother you will not see them because you will also kill them the day is coming you will look for your father you will not see them or you will see their dead body lying on the on, on the street because you will also kill them the day is coming that you will look for your child male and female you will not see them or probably in seeing them lying on the street because you will also kill them the day is coming that day is coming very fast i don't want to talk about yoruba people you are good in supporting evil i know that it's not all the yorubas that are bad but no problem you are born all the property of ibus in yoruba land just the same way exactly the way our amawabi sorry to mention Ausa, exactly the way fulani instructed you to do you have done it well done because every move every step you take draws very close to Biafra land every step you take draws closer to Biafra well done. you will look for us Biafrans do not see us you will beg for us to come and do business in your country when Biafra get independent you will not see us don't worry keep doing what you are doing let us keep fighting on. For you, Fulani, for you, Ausas. Many soldiers that is in our land now are very young, young, young people, young, young Fulanis and Ausas. I don't know whether Ausas, yes, young, young Fulanis and Ausas. Then recruit children, carry champ, food and their body, make them come fight. And their brain did not tell them that our ancestors, our ancestors, the land of our ancestors is filled up with power you fill up with power and you cannot defeat us do you know why because we are in our land the more you come the more you will die you can't defeat us go and ask britain ask them they cannot defeat us they wasn't able to def they did not uh, nah, which kind of grammar they was not able to defeat us talk less of you you cannot defeat us you can never defeat us so therefore pack one side and do that which is good for you because we are coming we are on your neck we are on your neck by now the general have been you know decay on the ground even turned to skeleton the one that make mouth yeah, he will, he will destroy, he will destroy, he will destroy Biafran, he will destroy Biafran. He came and he saw it. And he's not even alive to testify or to say what he saw. So therefore, you, so therefore, you, who think you can conquer with the land walk? Pack all your juju. Go to the highest country pack their juju join yourself carry them come inside biafra land to fight these angels of god now here you will see your end 
Now inside the land of Biafra, you will see your enemy. Because Biafra is the religion. Biafra is our tradition. Biafra is our culture. Biafra is our beloved country. So therefore, no man, no woman, no spirit can defeat Biafra. At this moment, at this point, I will call it good morning from Biafra land. Share the message to those you know, really need to know. We are not joking. Don't mind the way I'm talking to you in a very soft way or soft manner. Bo, tell your pastor, tell your pastor, he should never open his mouth and preach against Biafra unless he wants in church to be born down. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Share the message to those you love. And don't forget the date, 29th to 30th of May. It's going to be a great day. Also, start now to inform people and start now to buy things keep that can sustain you for two days or, and preach the gospel of their friends. Start now to buy things to celebrate for Biafra freedom because it's at the corner. The party will soon be on. From here, from here.